What up, players? Warboss Tay up in this mood. And I've got my Wood Elf Spell Singer with Staff here, all painted up. Welcome to my Warboss tutorial on how you can achieve the same results that I did. And um, I just want to say that this was a fun model to paint. It, um, I, I, I kind of lost some of my momentum in the beginning with the base coats just because I started with a white undercoat and when I was putting on the base coats a lot of these folds and stuff was hard to get into with the paint brushes that I have and I, just, <laughs> I was messing up a lot and I, uh, I just got impatient so I kind of put it down for a while so I've had her completed for a little while uh, just needed to finish up her highlights and everything but the first thing I did was I base coated her in white so after this clip you'll see the base coats or that I the base coats that I put on after I put on the undercoat the primer undercoat um, I highly suggest that you use a white for this model as an undercoat because it lets these blues and the greens and the flesh tones just pop even more and um, yeah if you have any questions about how I painted this model please leave me a comment or, or PM me or whatever and um, please don't forget to thumb up thumbs up this video before you go and um, it'll make my spell singer very happy and don't forget to uh, subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned for more from this channel thanks guys take care all right after priming my figure in white I put the following colors on let's go from the bottom up I used Camry Brown for the base of the tree trunk thing that she's floating off of. I used Hawk Turquoise for the forest spirit as well as the majority of the robes. And then I used Narlock Green for the green parts of the robes. Um, I was gonna do Snot Green but then I noticed that it was just it wasn't going it wasn't covering very well. The coverage wasn't very good because it's not a Citadel foundation paint. Uh, it doesn't cover as well so I decided I'm gonna layer up so Narlock Green first and then we're going to layer up with Snot Green after. I used Dwarven Bronze, Dwarf Bronze for all the gold. And Denim Stone for all the skin. For the staff I used Codex Grey and oh look it's still bending. I tried to straighten it out but uh, in hot water it didn't work. So yeah. And Astronomic on Grey for the hair, I'm going to have to figure out how I'm going to fix that. Dwarf Bronze for the bottom of the staff, the gold there, and the gold at the top. I'm not going to start on the gemstone until I'm done with the gold, with the shading and the highlighting for that. And uh, Astronomic on Grey for the hair, like I said. Oh, focus please, focus please. Yeah, Astronomic on Grey for the hair. So the next thing we're going to do is our shading. And actually before I shade I'm gonna paint snot green over the narlock green so that when we shade it's actually gonna be shading the snot green color. Now that the narlock green is done it'll make a great base for the uh, snot green color. So snot green on the narlock green and then we're gonna do our shading and I will cut, get back to you when that is drying and I'll let you know which colors I used for that. Alright, so let's take you through what I did. Here's what the model looks like now with the washes on. No highlighting yet, just washes. So with the base, I started to build my base up actually. With the colors. Uh, for the little forest spirit, back up a little bit, I gave him a wash of a sermon blue. For the tree trunk, I gave that a wash of Devlin mud and Bad at Black. For any of the green, I used Thraka Green. And for the blue, I used a Sermon Blue. The gold, I just kind of left. And then for the hair, I used a Sermon Blue as well. Then I used Ogren Flesh for the arms and the, the face and the skin. Any of the skin, I used Ogren Flesh. And then with that, I was all right with letting it slip into the gold because Ogren Flesh is a nice, rich wash color. It, uh, it, it, it will go good with the gold if you wanted to. And for the staff, I used a light wash of Bad at Black at the top. And then I got it progressively darker towards the bottom. So I added a second and then a third wash of Bad at Black to the staff at the bottom. Because if you look at the picture online, it fades to black near the bottom. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to highlight back up with the colors that I use, the base colors. And then I'm going to add a little bit of lightning to it. So for the hair, I'm going to use Astronomicon Grey and then I'm going to add a little bit of Skull White to lighten that up. For the staff, I'm going to use my um, Codex Grey, lighten it up with a little bit of Fortress Grey near the top. And let it uh, try to do a fade towards this darker grey at the bottom. The gold I'm just going to re-highlight with shiny gold because metallics you don't have to highlight up with a secondary color until the very end when we add our final highlight with Mitro Silver. But for now I'm just going to highlight that back up with shiny gold. And for the cloak I'm actually going to highlight that up, the blue part of the cloak I'm going to highlight with Hawk Turquoise. I'm going to build it back up with Hawk Turquoise and then I'm going to add a little bit of Ice Blue which will give it a lighter, whiter color. Take it away from this blue color and make it a little bit more white. Uh, the tree trunk is just going to be Kemri Brown. Add in a little bit of bleach bone maybe, and then this forest spirit, I'm going to use the same color as I use for her cloak. So I'll see you when that's done, and we'll see what that looks like when I get back. Okay, so I just finished highlighting. As you can see, I used the ice blue mixed into the hawk turquoise for the dress. The uh, Dwarven Bronze, Shining Gold, I think I mentioned Shining Gold in the last video, but Dwarven Bronze or Shining Gold will work for the gold. Snot Green uh, mixed with Goblin Green, I started doing that for the, the green parts of the cloak. And then Kemri Brown for the base, the little bit of the Ice Blue for the little Forest Spirit. And then I started highlighting up the staff. As you can see I left the bottom dark and then it fades lighter and lighter and lighter. So I used Codex Grey and then Fortress Grey to highlight the staff. For the gemstones, I base coated red gore, or first I painted the gemstones black. And then I base coated red gore on the bottom half of the gemstone. And then in diminishing crescent shapes, I went smaller and smaller and smaller. And first I painted Warlock Purple. And then I mixed in some bleached bone into the Warlock Purple. And then the last level was just straight bleached bone. And that was really just like a line on the bottom half of, on the bottom part of the... Sorry, not bleached bone, I'm sorry, it's uh, elf flesh. I was thinking of something else. Elf flesh mixed into the warlock purple, and then straight elf flesh for the last line. And then a dot of skull white at the top. And then I coated the entire gem in glass varnish. So no matter where you're looking at it from, the light will catch it and reflect. So it'll be shiny. For her face and her skin, I highlighted up with Deneb Stone, but then I thought, you know, it's just too pale, so I, I used Elf Flesh because she's an elf. Ah, what do you know? So Elf Flesh really did the trick, and then with the final wash, really thin, thin glaze of Ogren Flesh, it really ties her skin to uh, skin tones together makes her look really healthy and not that pale but at the same time not as red and uh, ruddy as Talarn flesh or, or pink I guess you can't even tell that the, the foot is all miscast I might um, paint those little miscasts around the the anklets as uh, branches green branches or uh, leaves and I mean green leaves and um, yeah and there you go I painted her her eye makeup, uh, hawk turquoise, thinned down and just lightly glazed over the eyes where her eyeshadow would be. And then I painted her eyes skull white with a little slash of chaos black to make her look like she's looking down and to the left, just like Lilith, her evil 40k cousin. So there's my model. I'm gonna base her, finish painting up her anklet, and um. I'm gonna add some, I mean, by basing, I mean I'm gonna add some grass, and uh, I've got this stuff here I wanna show you guys. I use it for my Beastmen. It's, it's Army Painters Battlefields Grass Green, and it's just like moss that goes on the bottom of your bases, and then you put the static grass around it, and the effect you get is this, kaboosh! Look at all this cobwebs and dust, because this guy's been neglected so long. Sorry, beast man. Beast man. So, you can see like it looks kind of mossy, like the, the floor of a forest, and then you've got some grass, some uh, steppe grass. It's like short, scorched grass that GW sells, but the brand is called Steppe Grass from Army Painters Battlefields collection as well. 
And then you get a good mixture of, you know, it, it, it kind of looks like what a forest floor would naturally look like. So that's kind of the effect that I'm going for, that the beastmen and the wood elves are just natural enemies. They're always going at each other, so they're fight, they're duking it out in the, the wood elves' forest home. So all my wood elves and beastmen are going to be based the same, basically, is what I'm saying. Um, her hair, I started highlighting back up with Astronomic on Grey. I didn't want to go too light, though. I liked the shadows provided by the Assyrian Blue. So I just went back up with Astronomic on Grey, and then I highlighted with... Um, I added some Space Wolves Grey to that, and I, I hit the, the most prominent areas for that. So I'm going to finish her up, and then we will wrap up this video in the next clip. So here's the finished product. I'm really happy with her. I based her and I covered up the miscast by making it a gold anklet. I painted some more gold on here on the right arm. There was a vine twining around it, so I colored it gold. Yep, I hope you like it. Don't forget to leave some likes and comments and See you in the next one.